and News Pinpoint Weather Report is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating, and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. Could you imagine, though, that being in the next uh, Jurassic Park Wondering. movie? Little thing just teeny, chasing you. Teeny tiny. Kind of scary. Yeah, like an <laughs> ant movie or something. Yes. Hey, we got to get creative here. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great day. Hope you guys have had a much better day today after all the rain yesterday. Gorgeous this afternoon, and now we're starting to see the skies darkening a little bit. I'll show you why in a second. In downtown, it is 67 degrees. The wind's coming out of the west northwest at seven miles per hour. So very little wind in place. And now as we take a look at the seven day forecast, you may think, wow, is it going to rain every single day for the next seven days? It's all about timing, so I'll make sure to, to show you exactly when it could get in the way of your plans. As far as tomorrow, let's start with day one. We're going to see the best chance mid part of the day into the early portion of, in, of the afternoon and also looking at the possibility for thunderstorms. Where can we see the heaviest rain? It looks like the best chance will be for mountains and deserts with a flash flood watch starting tomorrow at 11 through fr uh, through Friday morning at 11 as well. But it's, it gets actually pretty tricky. It's all about the wind pattern. How is this going to be shaping up? So you see the low is sitting right here. The main flow of moisture is already setting up, but is moving farther south. So as we go into our 10 news pinpoint rain future cast, you can see a few spotty showers, but not much into tomorrow morning. The best chance in the afternoon. We will see the winds coming from the south wrapping around, and this is basically the pattern that thunderstorms and showers will be following tomorrow. They will develop near the mountains, and then they'll start to track towards the west. It's all about where those thunderstorms break off, where we'll see the heaviest rainfall, but some areas could end up with more than an inch of rain by the time this area of low pressure moves through the county. Hour by hour, looking at the possibility of thunderstorms in San Diego after 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and also through the afternoon with the heaviest rain expected into tomorrow night. So this is just a different future cast, just a zoom out version. You can see widespread rain by tomorrow afternoon coming from the south and then moving off to the east. The next storm system will be arriving this weekend. It's a cold nature system and it also brings much colder temperatures. So completely different setup here. Here's how much we can see through Friday morning over an inch of rain in Escondido and also in Alpine, but it's going to be anywhere pretty much from the coast all the way into our inland communities where we could see from three quarters of an inch all the way to an inch and a half before the system is all said and done. Our models are trying to handle the situation, but it's all about where this low really sits. If it's farther south, we could actually be drier. So for now, we're looking at heavy rain potential tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night, with showers continuing into Friday. Over the weekend, temperatures will start to drop as that next colder system moves in. And then next week, down in the 50s, typically for this time of the year, we actually stay closer to 65. So we're going from near normal temperatures to much colder conditions next week. It's going to feel like winter once again. Of course, we know winter is still here. Mar uh, spring hasn't officially started, but next week is just going to be much colder. For now, mild, great afternoon, great evening. Tomorrow, getting ready for more heavy rain. So enjoy it while you can today. Wow. That's exactly right. All right. It doesn't Thanks, look enjoy. like a San Diego forecast. No, it doesn't. <laughs>